All right, what is up guys and welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I know I've been gone for a while, I just had the baby, so took some time off. I made that previous video about having my son. There was a couple haters. How could you how could you dislike a video like that? I mean, what kind of human being can you be? But haters are going to hate and if you ain't got haters then you're not doing something right. So it is what it is. Anyways, let's get into the first thing we got today. So, some of you guys may know, some may not know who AVE is. AVE, uh, to my knowledge, he's some sort of engineer. He's very good with like milling, metal work, uh, stuff like that. Very good with his hands. A lot of electronical experience, um, electronic experience, however you want to call it. Uh, just a very well-rounded guy with an awesome channel. So, he made a video about his thoughts and feelings about why the bridge in Florida let loose, which the death total ended up being six in total and many injured. So, you know, send a prayer to those, uh, those people's families because, uh, just a tragic incident. You know, I think they rushed something that shouldn't have been rushed and, uh, they should have took a little bit more time with it. But anyways, if you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely go check it out. It's a video worthwhile watching because I mean, the guy's a very, very smart man. And he gives his explanation as to why the bridge failed. As far as my eyes can see, uh, I think he could be right. I mean, I don't know much about constructing bridges. Make sure you go and check AVE's channel out. If you're interested in the bridge and a possible scenario as to what may have happened, you can get a little insight on the situation and what may have possibly happened. Again, I think he could be spot on. You never know. Next on the list, if you have ever been interested in putting a power drawer in your Epic box without having to pay Snap-on to do it or having a special box, yada, 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 you can go check out Joel's channel, the Snap-on Tool Review, and in his video, he teaches you how to properly install a power drawer using all OE parts from Snap-on. Now, I'm going to tell you the install does require a little bit of uh, finagling and mangling your box here and there, but if done right, it can come out looking professional and yield the same results as you would if you paid all that money for the box because I believe that feature is quite a bit of extra money to add to your box. So you can go ahead and order the parts yourself, follow his steps in his video, and you'll be able to install it yourself. So I thought that was pretty neat and I wanted to share that in this video. Also too, a smaller YouTuber just starting off getting the hang of video quality and audio and slowly working on things that could use some recognition is Ken the Long Guy. I know Ken personally, very nice guy, He'll heart of gold, will do anything for anybody and uh, he just got some new camera equipment, some lenses and he's trying them out and his video quality is superb. He's He just did a video on the Cornwell Double Flex Box ratcheting wrenches, I think those are what they are, and um, just a very good video. Once he gets everything nailed, dialed in, and spot on, his videos are going to crush it. He's going to do really good. Let's help Let's help him get to that 1,000 subscriber mark and 10,000 views or whatever craziness YouTube has going on for the requirements to become monetized because it is a little crazy. But at the same time, I do fully understand where they're coming from with all these accounts just being made up out of nowhere and, you know, people trying to beat the system, you know. Do it honestly. If you're going to make a YouTube channel, do it honestly. Grow your subscribers. Um, develop a fan base. And, you know, like there's there's no need to go outside of uh, the rules and regulations. It may take you a little while to find your niche, but niche, 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 whatever you, people you call it. <laughs> but uh, you'll find it. If you're dedicated enough, you'll find it. So basically, here's what's going on. So... I'm tired of doing tools. I'm tired and tired of doing tools. We're going to take this last part of this first video like this and we are going to discuss why I'm going this route. I'm just tired of doing tools. YouTube used to be fun and it's just kind of losing its interest. You know, you're doing the same thing over and over. It's so saturated with people doing the same thing that you can't keep up with everything. So I want to be on the other side of the spectrum. I want to, you know, come in and the, the good videos that are out, I want to promote on my channel, whether it's a big YouTuber, a small YouTuber, and and help get their names out there, help help get more views for everybody. When I say everybody, I mean everybody. So I gotta, every day I gotta watch videos and watch videos. And you know, it's sadly enough to say, even if Junkie puts out a good video, I will put it on here and you know, say, hey, go check out the video. If it's a good video, it's a good video. Uh, pretty much gonna be unbiased. It's just a new thing and I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to move on and ready to try new things and you know, hopefully if a bigger YouTube 
a bigger YouTuber has a good video and I can go ahead and recommend that video to other people, obviously that name and the title is going to draw on viewers which helps them get more views on their video but then in turn brings people here and they can hear about smaller YouTubers that they may not have heard of or may have never heard of or come across in their time on YouTube which they may end up liking. Call it what you want, call it what you will. I don't care. Again, this is my channel. I'm going to do what I want with it. You know, this is this is the way I'm going to go and this is the way I want to run my channel. If you guys don't like it, don't watch it. It's too easy, you know. I'm not going to have zero tolerance for any dumbass comments. You know, I'll do my best to filter everything out. I'm saying it myself. No tolerance for it. This is just something new I want to try to get exposure to everybody because with these new rules and regulations, it's going to get harder and harder for people to get their videos seen on YouTube, especially with the oversaturation of the genre. So like, for instance, this video, I really enjoyed AB's video about the bridge. So I put AB's video about the bridge in the beginning. I thought Joel's video would be very helpful with the power toolbox drawer or power tool drawer. And then again, Ken the Long Guy being the smaller YouTuber, getting his shit together, uh, looking to create his channel, find his niche, and grow his channel. So in the end, it all works for everybody. So if you want to hate on that, hate on that. It's just something new I want to try. I'm, I'm, you know, the, the whole, you know, uh, ignorant attitude and the whole joking around all the time. I want to do something more, more productive and worthwhile rather than just throw a bunch of nonsense at tools and stuff at you guys that you guys probably have already seen or don't want to hear about so this is how I'm gonna go and this is the route I'm going to take if you guys like it leave a thumbs up if you don't like it again leave a thumbs down and roll troll anyways guys you can always support me by going in the description and clicking on the Amazon link to bring it to Amazon one of the tool links you don't have to buy that tool just use the link to get to Amazon and continue shopping as you normally would that helps me tremendously or you can become a patreon of mine and go check out the patreon options which is always good as well whatever floats your boat or if not just watch the videos and relax That's too easy so i hope you guys find these videos that i mentioned worthwhile the ave the snap-on tool review and ken the long guy these videos will become more and more professional as time goes on they'll be more structured uh, better produced, you know, I just the start things are always choppy, things are always rough, so uh, you just kind of got to deal with it and until things get better. But things will get better. The links to these guys' videos will be in the description. Make sure you check them out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.